All right, this is the second video uh, that discusses line graphs. So um, in addition to reading a line graph and understanding them, sometimes you're asked to sort of write a story for one. So this is a graph right here. You can see it has no title. It's about nothing. It has some numbers. Um, so we have to come up with something. So I'm going to come up with a sort of a changing rate story for this, and then I'm going to come up with a changing total story for this. So um, I first have to decide what this could be about. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, a changing rate. All right, so let's see. I've got, first I have to look at the numbers here. So I got 15. It looks like they're starting at 30. So uh, let me see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say this is a problem about the number of burritos somebody can make. Okay, yeah, a guy has a burrito truck. Uh, these are the number of burritos that he's going to make. So what happened was this person looks like they came in right before the lunch rush. So this, these, these could be like, the, I could call the uh, horizontal axis here. I could say, well, these are the number of hours the person's at work. And then this over here could represent the uh, how fast they're making burritos. So right comes in right at lunch, making about 30 burritos an hour. And then it looks like they're getting busier and busier, so they're speeding up. They're making 45 burritos an hour for about an hour here. And it looks like, you know, the lunch rush is gone, so they're kind of slowing their rate down. Um, they're back to like 30 burritos an hour, and it looks like it kind of stays that way until about eight hours in, we're kind of at a late dinner. They start speeding up because they're getting really, really busy, and now they're making 60 burritos an hour at the end of the night. So that, you know, that's it. That's a changing rate example. Um, now I have to in see if I can invent something for a, for a changing total. So um, I think what I'll do is... I'll say that, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to do distance. That's usually what people always do. Um, I can't really say it's a, it's something like a piggy bank. So a lot of times what will happen is kids will make up a story. They'll say, oh, this is the amount of money in a piggy bank. But you got to be careful about things like that because that doesn't make any sense. You, if, if someone's piggy bank is growing and the line's connected like that, that means it's growing at pennies, you know, like is your pay, pay, are you dropping a penny in every second or that doesn't make any sense. So um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that this is the water level. So this is the water level in maybe centimeters or something um, for a fish pond. And then um, I could say that, that these are the, the number of days. So these are 11 days of the water level in a fish pond. And then what happens is so the first day it looks like there's like 30 centimeters. And then maybe it rains or something. So then what happens is it, it goes up to 45. And then the weather's okay, so it stays at 45. And then it gets really hot and the water starts to evaporate and it's back down to 30. And it kind of and then it kind of cools off again. It's a normal day and it kind of stays at 30. And then it rains a lot, so then it's filling up here over these days. And then um, the weather's okay, not too hot, so then it kind of stays the same. So that would be an example of a changing total. It's the total amount of water in the fish pond is changing um, over the course of the day. So th those, that's an example of how you can make up a story for a line graph.